Chapter 1. He adored Kelowna. Idolized it all out of proportion. Uh, no, make that... He, he romanticized it all out of proportion. Now to him, no matter what the season was, this was still a town that existed in black and white, and pulsated to the great tunes of George Gershwin. Ah, now let me start this over. Chapter 1. He was too romantic about Kelowna. As he was about everything else, he strived on the hustle, bustle of the crowds and the traffic. To him, New York meant beautiful women, street smart guys who seemed to know all the angles. Nah, no, too corny for my taste. I mean, let me try to make it more profound. Chapter 1. He adored Kelowna. To him, it was a metaphor for the decay of the contemporary culture, the same lack of individual integrity to cause so many people to take the easy way out. It was rapidly turned into the town of his dreams and... No, it's gonna be too preachy, I mean, let's face it, I wanna sell some books here. Chapter 1. He adored Kelowna. Although to him, it was a metaphor for the decay of contemporary culture. How hard it was to exist in a society desensitized by drugs, loud music, television, crime, garbage. I'm too angry. I don't want to be angry. Chapter 1. He was as tough and romantic as the city he loved. Behind black rim glasses was the coiled sexual power of a jungle cat. I loved this. Kelowna was his town, and it always would be. Thank <laughs> you.